Hello and welcome to another prestigious fully funded scholarship opportunity in Germany. In this video, you will learn about the fully funded Helmut Schmidt scholarship for master's program in Germany. With this scholarship, you do not have to pay any tuition fee. You also get 934 euro monthly health insurance cover, study and research grants, rent subsidy and family supplements if you're coming along with your family. Interestingly, you also do not have to pay your flight ticket because this is also covered. In this video, I would explain all you need to know about the scholarship that will help you apply to this scholarship by yourself, such as the eligible courses as well as other eligibilities and most importantly, how to apply. This video will definitely add value to you, so therefore consider hitting the like button and subscribe as this is a way to show appreciation. Also drop a comment to let me know if you are applying to this scholarship. Do not forget to get my scholarship ebook with the first link in the description box. This ebook contains what can help you win a scholarship. Let's get it started. So guys, like I said, today we are looking at the Helmut Schmidt scholarship and the full name of this scholarship is Helmut Schmidt Program Master's Scholarships for Public Policies and good governance and this is for 2024 so this is also another type of the daad scholarship like i've um, made a lot of videos on DAD scholarship different types of DAD scholarship we have the epos and i also talked about another DAD scholarship for africa's you can also check that out on my channel for this video we are concerned about the helmut smith master's scholarship this scholarship is um, particularly concerned about good leadership so good governors as well as civil society structures in developing or emerging countries and um, it's meant for courses that are related to social political or economic development the scholarship is quite interesting it's just like every other dad scholarship um, a lot a lot of benefits so you can see the value right here once you are a dad scholar you are exempted from paying tuition fees in addition to this, you also get 934 euro monthly. That is interesting. And it also covers your health insurance, which means that whatever you fall sick in Germany or you have to do any medical stuff, you do not have to pay any money. And also it covers your travel allowances. That is your flight ticket to Germany. And it also covers what we call a study and research grant. It also covers rent subsidy, especially if you have to get a bigger apartment because you are coming with your family members like your spouse and children. And one good thing about the DAD scholarship is that at the beginning of every DAD scholarship, you get to study German in Germany. So you come to Germany maybe six months before the time of your program and you have to study German. Although your courses are going to be taught in English, but learning how to speak German is very uh, important when you are coming to Germany. The scholarship also covers that German language course for up to six months and you also get paid during this period. That is quite interesting. Who is eligible to apply to this scholarship? So you can apply to this scholarship if you come from a developing or emerging country. We are going to see the list of these countries just in a moment. And also if you have a well-qualified first university degree, that is a bachelor's degree that is above average. And also in the following fields such as social, political sciences, law, economics, public policy and administration or related. So once you have such bachelor's degrees, then you are eligible to apply. You must also be willing to actively contribute to the social, political and economic development of your home country. It is also important for you to have some practical experience that is relevant to this program. And this could be some professional experience like your job or internships. It could also be political or social commitments. It could be that you have volunteered for some particular cause or you have taken up leadership positions in the past. So all, all of this makes you to stand out to win this scholarship. For this scholarship, it is not compulsory to have two years of work experience. Let's quickly check out the eligible countries. This webpage is the official page for this scholarship. And right here, you can see more details about this scholarship. Down here, you can see some important links and you can see list of countries. I'm going to drop the link to this page in the description box. Let's take a look at the eligible countries. Yeah, so you can see the countries that are eligible. There are a lot of them 
and Nigeria is part of them and um, South Africa, a lot of African countries. So um, practically a lot of countries all over the world. So just go through the list and make sure your country is part of this list before you apply to the scholarship. So I'm just going to go down and you can see the full list right here. Right now, it is important that you know the courses that are eligible for this scholarship because not all courses are eligible. There are specific courses that are eligible. So let's take a look at this so that you already know if this scholarship is for you or not. So um, I think there are about seven or eight courses eligible. And the first one is Social Protection MSc. And you can see the name of the university down here and some details and contact information about this particular course. And the second course right here is Development and Governance and you can see the university right here. And the third course is Public Policy and all of these courses have links to them. You can click on each of this um, course to get more information about the particular course to take you to the university um, webpage and right there you can get more information. And the next course is Peace and Conflict Studies and we have the fifth one, which is management in nonprofit organizations. And these are all master's programs. And then we have the sixth one, which is development studies. And then we have governance and public policy, which is the seventh course right there. If any of these courses catches your interest or is in your area of specialization, then you should definitely apply to this scholarship. Talking about applying to this scholarship, you can see the deadline for application right here. The scholarship opens on the 1st of June and it closes on the 31st of July 2023. So it's a reoccurring scholarship, which means that around this time next year, uh, it is also going to open and close again. Before we talk about how to apply just in a moment, let's take a look at the documents you need to prepare and submit for this scholarship so the very first document right here is the checklist i'm going to show you how to download the checklist the checklist is basically a document that have some boxes where you just have to check to show that or to notify that you have submitted or included those documents in your application the second document is the dad application form and i have made a dedicated video to talk about how to fill the dad application form properly you can check that video also in the description box or click on the video showing at the top of your screen the next document you need is a single letter of motivation so even if you are applying to more than one um, course because in this scholarship you can apply to a maximum of two courses if you're applying to two courses, then you still need to use just one letter of motivation. In this case, you have to explain your choice of master's courses and you have to indicate why you're, you have taken the particular course to be your first choice and the second one to be your second choice, just in one letter of motivation. And it is stated here that you must provide the same letter of motivation to both courses you are applying for. So if you're applying to two courses, you need just one letter of motivation and it's very important because letter of motivation is a key document that is why you need to get my ebook which i have explained how to write letter of motivation and also you get numerous letter of motivation that have won the that scholarship they are all in that ebook the link to that ebook is in the description box you can get it and it will definitely help you to get the scholarship the next document you need is your cv and as usual it has to be in the europass format there's a link right here that you can also click to get the europass format or you can visit my telegram channel the link is in the description box and i have pinned a europass format cv in um, word document that you can download and edit um, and use as your cv as expected you need copies of your higher education degree certificates that is your bachelor certificates and also you need a copy of your full set of transcript of record and then you need some documents to show or to confirm your relevant professional experience or internships or a proof that you have participated in political activities or service um, to your home country or to your community they have also stated here that such could also be some volunteering or work for charities or for ngos and you should try to make sure this is on a letter headed paper you also have to prove your english language skills because most of the, the courses you are going to be taking are taught in english and language skills depend on the university most universities will allow you to use a, most universities will allow you to use english language proficiency certificate from your 
previous university, especially when your education, your, your bachelor's degree was taught in English. And lastly, you need a reference letter and your reference letter could either be from your employer or your previous or your university lecturer. It is also stated that this document should be in a uh, letter-headed paper and it should also be signed and stamped. Now we are back to the page I showed you earlier and if you come down on this page, you are going to find the, some documents that you need. Um, so right here, you can see the announcement of this scholarship and then you can see the checklist. If you click on the checklist, then you can download the PDF of that checklist. It's just a, a PDF file that you can tick to show that you have included a particular document in your application. And then you also have the application form and this is that application form. You can click on it to download it and also watch my video to know how to fill it in the, in the proper way. And here you can find more information about the master's courses. So how do you apply to this scholarship application process? It says all application must be submitted in English or German. It is quite straightforward. All you have to do is to take all those documents, prepare all the documents and submit them to the university. You don't have to apply through the DAAD portal. You just have to submit all the documents to the university. So the first thing is you have to prepare the checklist and then you have to prepare the DAD application form and you must indicate your first and your second choice in the DAD form and then you can see the fourth step right here please submit the application form to the master's course or courses of your choice maximum of two along with the required documents we have already talked about I would advise you to go through this PDF file so the link is going to be in the description box. It contains all the information in steps. You can see number one, objective, number two, who can apply. And there are some other sessions that I have not talked about in this video. So make sure to go through it and go through all the steps and see how to apply. Read up all the information on this particular PDF file. So once you are ready to apply and you have gotten all the necessary documents, you can come to the master's program of your choice. There are seven of them. We are going to use the peace and conflict studies, um, for example. And what you have to do is to click on the particular course that you are interested in. It will take you to the official web page of that course. And once you are here, you just have to look out for DAAD scholarship once you are on this page. So I'm just going to look out for that uh, because this, I think the, the, the link took me to the page for the program and not specifically to the scholarship. So you just have to look out for that. And if you come down right on this page for this particular course, it might be different for the other courses. And you can see DAD scholarship right here at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to click on this. Now it takes you to the specific page um, for the Hermos Schmidt scholarship for this particular program. And right here, it is very important to read through and you can see the objective and other information. And these information can also be specific based on the university or the course. So you want to follow the information on the particular course web page. So you can see the requirements here and every other thing you need to know the application timeline as well as the documents that you need to submit. So in this particular case, you must follow the documents in that particular university it might dif it, it might differ from other universities so right here they want you to provide about 14 documents and what you want to look out for is how they want to collect these documents how are you going to submit these documents to that particular university and right here you can see for this particular university they have stated that please send your complete application merged into one single pdf document so this email address right here so it is very easy to apply you don't have to um, go in through any application portal for this particular university in other universities you might have to submit your application through a portal online but for this case you are submitting your application by email so what you have to do for this particular university is to put all your documents into a single pdf file and send that single pdf file to this email address very easy so guys, if you've gotten any value from this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe 
to be a part of the family. Also turn on the bell notification so that you do not miss future opportunities. You can check out my YouTube channel. There are a lot of opportunities in Italy, Australia, in USA and um, there are a lot of opportunities right here to check out. Click on the video showing right now on the screen and I will see you right in that video.